What's going on YouTube, Living Proof Fitness. Today we're gonna to talk about five good ways that you can build muscle at home without using any weights whatsoever. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First one that we're gonna talk about is pretty obvious, the push-up. Now when performing the push-up, you can always jump down, just do the push-up in the regular position, which is gonna put a lot of the emphasis on the pectoral muscles, which is ultimately gonna get you a bigger chest. Now remember, the more elevated that you start to put your feet, the higher the platform, the more emphasis that you start to put on the upper pectoral muscles, shoulders, and core. The closer in that you bring your hands, so like a diamond push-up, so your hands somewhat like this, or in pretty close, is gonna put a lot of the emphasis, again, on the pectoral muscles, and a lot on your triceps. And remember, when it comes to triceps, or your arm in general, your triceps make up two-thirds of your upper arm mass. So if you're really into doing curls, knock off all the curls and just start really focusing on your triceps if you want the bigger arms. Now the second exercise that we're gonna talk about is the handstand push-up. Now I know for some of you guys, a handstand push-up might be quite difficult, especially if you're not holding on to anything whatsoever. But a good way to do it is just to walk right up to the fucking wall, place your hands on the ground, and then you kick your feet up to the wall to where you stand in a complete handstand position. Then you go ahead and begin to perform the exercise. The primary muscle groups involved when doing the handstand push-up exercise is the shoulders, delts, and traps. So it really is a great exercise if you're trying to build them areas without the use of any weights. For anybody, especially a noob, AKA a beginner, jumping into this, working out at home, it might take you a little while in order to perform this exercise. So just go ahead and stick with the push-ups elevated push-ups, diamond push-ups, and eventually you will build up the strength to finally be able to perform the handstand push-up. Okay, so the third exercise that we're gonna talk about is dips. You can do dips almost anywhere in your house. You can go right up to your kitchen in the corner of your countertops and perform dips right there. You can go outside to like your patio area, your porch, and perform dips outside. Just make sure that when you're doing your dips, that you don't put too much strain on your shoulder by making the movement too deep. Going in too deep will cause your shoulder to eventually have an injury. You wanna only go down to about 90 degrees and push right back up. All the way back up, go back down 90 degrees and then push all the way back up. That really puts a lot of the emphasis on the tricep like we were just talking about a second ago. It makes up two thirds of your arm really target the tricep. The more up straight that you are, with your hands in nice and close to your body, if you can manage to get a movement like that, closer in, back straight up, and then go down, really, really targets the tricep. The more forward that your body is bent, and the wider out that your hands are, is gonna put a lot of the emphasis on the chest. So the dips is also a great chest builder. So ultimately, if you're really looking to build some muscle, do not cut dips out of your exercise, whether it's at home or in the gym. Dips are a necessity. Okay, so now exercise number four, squats. Studies have shown that doing heavy compound movements, especially squats, has a positive effect on testosterone production for all my fellas out there. Squats work the entire lower body, including the hamstrings, the quads, the glutes, and the muscles that make up the calves. What you can do to do this exercise, if you do not have anything at home, is just get a bag and fill it up with something. So you can fill it up with rocks outside, grab a fucking duffel bag, fill it up with something heavy. If you don't have anything, go over there and slap on the back of your shoulders, you know what I'm saying, the back of your trap areas, when you're about to perform a real squat, you can simply just do sumo squats. So go ahead and grab the duffel bag, the bag, whatever you have, place it right in front of you, go ahead and put your feet about shoulder width apart, and go ahead and perform a squat. Go down about 90 degrees, and then come back up. Go down about 90 degrees, and come back up. If you can get the movement in a little bit deeper than 90 degrees, go ahead and do that. That'll put a lot of the emphasis really, really good on your quads to get you them bigger legs. If you don't have a bag or something like that, to put some weight in, then you can simply use something else. Your girlfriend, your kid, slap them on your shoulders and go ahead and do some squats that way. Okay, so now the fifth exercise that we're gonna talk about is the pull-up. Now, if you don't have some kind of staircase or something like that in your house where you can simply just go like, you know, behind the stairs somewhere and grab a hold and be able to do a pull-up, 
then you can go to the store and grab you one of them pull-up bars. It looks just like this. And basically all you do is just adjust it in the middle of your door frame, set it up, and you can perform your pull-ups there. Now with the other exercises that we have talked about with working your triceps, that does not mean that you just leave your biceps alone. Doing pull-ups will definitely put a lot of emphasis on your biceps as well, but really targeting your lats. While doing wide grip overhand pull-ups is really gonna put a lot of emphasis on your lats. Close grip underhand pull-ups is gonna put a lot of that emphasis directly on your biceps and your lats. I did recently make a video on how to do a muscle up if anybody is interested in doing that. However, I did also state that performing a muscle up is basically, in my opinion, a show off exercise more for the ego would not recommend it for anybody who's seriously trying to build some muscle regular pull-ups overhand pull-ups underhand pull-ups i feel is much more superior for building muscle than a fucking muscle up all right guys that wraps it up for the five exercises that you can do at home without weights obviously if you can get your ass out there and find some cheap membership shit like planet fitness over here in alaska 10 bucks a month can't beat that you can at least get up in there and hit some machines to try to get better exercise than doing at home. However, if for whatever reason you have to do it at home, these are five good exercises that you can do that will ultimately build your muscle in the end. Just remember that you gotta make sure that you're getting your calories in if you're really trying to grow, and you gotta make sure that you're doing the exercise. You cannot be skipping days. You gotta make sure that you're constantly doing it. Consistency equals results. That wraps it up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, become living proof. Shit, I'm making gains, bruh. Are you?